Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com bringing you an unboxing and review of the new Elgato HD60, the new replacement hardware for the old Elgato Game Capture HD. As the product's name suggests, this unit is capable of recording HDMI video at 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second, all while still using USB 2.0 instead of the faster USB 3.0 bus. This review has been a long time coming. I bought the unit on launch week and unfortunately ran into a major snag with the software which rendered it useless for my purposes. Video was hitching and generating weird artifacting in the recordings, even though I more than matched the system requirements for the device. After a very long, drawn out email chain with Elgato support, we found that the hardware was not defective, but it did not want to use my motherboard's chipset drivers. See my hardware specs below in, in the description below. I had to resort to switching the manufacturer's chipset drivers with Microsoft's own generic chipset drivers instead. Once these drivers were changed, the unit performed as promised. We will now unbox the unit and compare it to the old and now christened HD30. The new unit is significantly thinner and made of a cheaper plastic than the original, so don't drop it, you'll probably break it. It also no longer has a dedicated port for devices that require composite, component, and S-video. This includes the PlayStation 3 due to its HDCP restrictions over HDMI. This device will only support HDMI devices that are not displaying video encrypted by HDCP. If you are a retro gamer, you'll want to stick to the old HD30 for now, even though some games that are 60 frames per second will have some frames missing after the video is done recording. It also comes with one USB 2.0 cable and one HDMI 1.4 cable for recording. It has true bypass, so there will be no input lag on your TV as you're recording, as was the same with the HD30. In this demonstration, I am recording my screen off of a second Elgato, so you can see the software in action. The new Elgato Capture software has been much improved, adding a number of community requested features that were only available via third-party software such as XSplit, for example. You can now create scenes, which can have your custom logo in the position and size you want, as well as adding a webcam so your users can see you as you play. These settings can be changed on the fly as you can see here. Overall, the new capture application is much more stable than the original app, and we found during live stream testing that the stream was much more reliable and consistent than previous, the previous application for the HD30. Thankfully, Elgato is not abandoning the old hardware, as it will also work with the new capture software. As you can see in this menu, you can set the quality of the recording as well as enabling the device to capture the video in 60 frames per second if you wish. The new HD60 can record at 40 Mpbs, a whole 10 more than the previous HD30. Coming up next are a few video samples recording at 60 frames per second at 40 Mpbs. Unfortunately, as of this recording, the videos will be converted to 29.97 FPS, but Google will be enabling 60 FPS in the near future. Applications such as Twitch, however, can take advantage of the native format, making live streams all that much more smoother if you have the hardware and the bandwidth. It's a wonderful night for hockey. Kopitar sent to the big center ice circle for the Kings. Stepan's there for the New York Rangers. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. 
They've got a two-on-one. Outnumbered, but not outskilled. Moved to the shadow of the boards by Williams. Snatched up by McDonough. To Zuccarello. Takes it up that side. A shot. Lifted on goal. That's why the goalie's there. And here is the third voice of our crew, the man in the coldest place. Eyesight, Ray Ferraro. With these goals... I don't have enough arcane power. Need more time. Need more arcane power. Turning to town. So there you have it, the Elgato HD60. While the materials of the hardware could have been better made, the device itself does improve video capture for modern platforms. It is unfortunate that the new device abandons much of the retro market, making gamers resort to all sorts of upscalers that convert older media to HDMI just to be able to record them. However, for the current console and PC generation, this device adds that much more value to live streamers and reviewers the world over. The real only major reason to upgrade to this device, if you already own an HD30, is if you need the extra 30 frames per second. And until Google enables the format natively on YouTube, you may want to hold off. 
If you're a Twitch live streamer, however, this device is a must-have without a doubt. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave your comments below, and as always, let me know what you think. Thank you.